Hello, everyone. My name is Nana, and I will talk today about the cassava trait ontology in cassava base. So the place where most people would start is uh, by going to the uh, search menu and select traits. And here you can search by the cassava trait ontology like terms or by post-composed traits. And I will talk about the post-composed traits later. So you can search here by trait name or definition. So if we're searching for the term root color, you can see at the bottom the results, all the traits that match the term root color. If you click on the trait name, it will take you to a trait detail page. And you can see here several things. The term ID, this is a database identifier, the unique number, and the trait name, the unique trait name. Then each trait has a definition. The definition has to be detailed and include the method of measurement and the scale of measurement. We can also store optional synonyms for each term. These synonyms can be used for the trait search. If you search by a synonym, you should see the trait that has that synonym. Then traits have some properties. For example, the trait boiled storage root color. It's a visual trait with a scale of one to three which means you can only store the values one, two, and three in the database. And this is important for using a spreadsheet and recording your phenotypes or using the field book app. It will only let you store those three values. And at the bottom, you can see this little ontology tree. This is used mostly by curators. The ontology tree just shows the hierarchy of the term. You can see that Traits used for phenotyping are called variables, and they have a parent term, a parent trait term. Going back to the cassava trait search page, if you look at the search results, each trait has this little checkbox next to it. You can select the checkbox and then store the traits into a list. And you have here two options. You can store the traits in a new list, or you can add the traits to an existing list if you already have a, a list of traits in cassava base. These lists are very useful later on when you want to create a phenotyping spreadsheet or a file for the Fieldbook app to record phenotypes in the field. If you need a trait, in your experiment and the trait cannot be found in the ontology, you can request to add a new trait. You can also request to modify an existing trait. For example, if you want to add synonyms, change the definition of a trait or add something to it. When you click on the uh, link here to the submission form, it will take you to a new page. And the first thing you will do here is select the cassava ontology from the drop down menu. Then we ask you to provide your name and organization. Next, you will need to type in a detailed trait name. You can see as you start to type the name of your trait, at the bottom, you will see an autocomplete list of existing traits in the ontology. This helps you check if your trait already exists in cassava base or if something similar exists in the database. Next, you will have to choose a trait class. In this example, the trait starch content percentage is a quality trait. Then you have an option to add synonyms to your trait. And we ask you in the detailed trait definition box to provide as many details as possible. This helps us ensure that we store the correct trait in the database using exactly the method and the scale that you need for your Reading program. Then when you scroll further down the form, you have the option to add the method of measurement. In this case, there is a formula. 
So the formula is typed in here. And you can choose the measurement type. In this case, it's a unit. And the unit of measurement is percentage. If your trait is, does not have a unit, you have the option to choose categories. For example, um, if you have several categories, each one corresponds to a certain value, you can add those here. In this example, category one corresponds to the color yellow, category two to the color green, and so on. You can add here as many categories as you need. Next, you will need to select this little checkbox right here that you read and understood the submission guidelines written above here. Most people will submit the form using a public email. It's important that you provide your email so we can follow up with you in case we have any questions about your term request, or we can update you when the term is added to Kasaba Base. When you click the submit button here, what happens behind the scenes is that this little form is sent to the curators of Kasaba Base. This is what we call a ticket, and it has all the details you provided in the submission form. So we can look over it. And if needed, we can have uh, this little discussion with the submitter of the trade. If we have any questions or if we need to clarify anything. After the new trade is added to Kosavo Base, it will appear in the website with a new trade ID. This ID can be used then uh, for phenotyping experiments. And you can see here the name of the trait, the definition, and everything provided in the submission form. The Cassava trait ontology also appears in the crop ontology website that many of you are familiar with. We work in close collaboration with the crop ontology, but we ask that you submit new traits through cassava base and not through the crop ontology trait definition template since we can update traits much quicker through cassava base crop ontology website will update their version of the cassava trait ontology periodically but not as frequently as through cassava base so if you need to have a trait added quickly to use it in your experiments we ask you to add the trait through the submission form in Cassava Base. Going back to the trait search page, we talked about searching the official Cassava trait ontology, but you also have an option to post compose traits. We use the post composing tool mostly in cases when people need to add large number of traits using time and date terms or different treatments. For example, looking at the trait change in weight after boiling computation percentage, we can measure this trait during several months of the year. And we can also apply different times of boiling to this trait. Here is another example for a post-composed trait, dry matter content percentage. We can measure this trait during different months of the year. And we can measure it looking at different treatments. For example, the root can be mashed or it can be boiled and so on. These post composed traits are not part of the official cassava trait ontology, but they are stored locally in cassava base and they are public in cassava base for everyone to search and use in their experiments. To post compose a new trait, you will go to the Analyze menu and select Compose a new trait link at the bottom of the, of the menu. This will take you to the Compose new trait page where you have several options. You will have to select the trait from the box down here. So in this example, we're choosing dry matter content percentage. You have here an option to choose an object, which is usually a subsection of the plant. And you have the option to choose an attribute, for example, mash root. Next, you can choose time of year. We have here months, weeks, and days. 
And you also have an option to choose an event in case you have a certain breeding event when you measured your trait. For example, if the trait was measured after harvest or before harvest and so on. If the combination of traits selected already exists in cassava base, you will see it here under the existing traits box. You can add the existing trait to one of your lists or create a new list. If the new trait does not exist in cassava base, you can submit it using this button here. The trait will appear under the new traits box. And once you click submit, the trait immediately appears in cassava base without the curation step. It will be assigned an ID. You can use this ID for your list and for your phenotyping experiments. And it will have the combination of terms that you selected in the post composing tool. You will also be able to search for the post composed trait immediately using the search tool. Overall, in cassava base, we have 380 cassava trait ontology variables that can be used for phenotyping and 272 post composed terms. These numbers are increasing continuously, and we're always happy to add new terms if you need them or help you find the trait you're looking for. Thank you, and let me know if you have any questions.